Dom, thanks very much for joining us. The day before the Wraith Rovers game, but we'll start off by reflecting on the Partick Thistle game last week. Having had time to look back on it now, what's the what's the thoughts on it? Yeah, I think overall we're, we're disappointed. Um, when you, you you get yourself two 0 up in any game, you should, you should especially at home, you should probably see it out. But I'll be told, I think the officials' decisions kind of put a bit of pressure on us. We a soft free kick that led to a goal with a possible offside, and then obviously a, a penalty for the handball. And I think everybody don't think MD knows the rule anymore. So that's frustrating. But I think it's more down to us. And um, we've got to see the games out. Um, again, you're turning up at home, and you're playing really well, and creating a lot of chances. Maybe in our day, we, we take them, and we really take the pressure off. But overall, it's a disappointment. But we, we put that behind us, and, and we look forward to Rafe now. Putting that disappointment behind us, still plenty of positive to take from the game. I think when I spoke to Rory after the game and the manner in which we scored the goals as well, forgetting that spell in the second half where we did concede, but positives to take and build on going into another difficult game on Saturday. Yeah, definitely. I think Partick are a good team, um, and I think well, I think anybody can see we're well, a much better team with the chances we created. And I say, is maybe if we, we take them on another day, which we have been doing recently, um, it's a different game. But I think the main thing for us is as long as we're creating the chances, we're, we're playing good football, and I think. Apart from the, obviously the goals, we, we look very solid. I don't really remember Partick having many chances, so that, that's a, a massive bonus for us, and it will help us uh, at the end of the season. And get into a game like this against a team like Wraith, who are they are where they are in the league on on merit. Want to be solid at the back first and foremost. Yeah, Wraith are a good team, especially on the attack. They've got a, a really good front, kind of four or five. Um, we, we know that uh, we've played them enough this season to, to know what they're all about. And also with them having the game midweek, um, obviously that this will be their third game um, in, a, in a short space of time. So hopefully we, we kind of we've got the edge on them, kind of fitness, and they'll maybe be a wee bit fatigued. But for us, we'll have a game plan ready, and, and we'll go out and, and look to play the, the way we have been, being solid at the back, and, and being exciting on the front foot. And again, you're, you're at home you, you've got that kind of buzz so for us it's, it's another chance for a massive three points and it feels as if since Cal has come in there's been real momentum in the squad and we look at a different team getting into games does it feel like that from a player's perspective as a player as well you know, you, you feel that and I, and I touched on it last week I think with the, the boys at the back and in midfield have really made, made things solid for so for us being an attacking kind of players it, it gives you that kind of insurance that you know you can go and attack and you, you've got these boys behind you you kind of sweep up and I think it's worked really well and I think as tight as the league is, I think we've been on a, a good run. Um, obviously, kind of a, a few wins, draws, and, and they can be important points as well. So for us, in, in Saturday, we, we know it's a massive game and, and a chance to get three points, and you're that close to both playoffs. But for us, we need to be looking up the way, and we know we're, we're no many points off the playoff spots. Thanks for your time, Brilliant. Cheers.